Former GMTV presenter Penny Smith, 59, is an ageless beauty in thigh-grazing mini dress. Penny Smith's legs were on full display as she was at her glamorous best at the National Film Awards. The stunning presenter, best known for her 17-year turn on GMTV, looked sensational as she posed up a storm for photographers. Penny who now works on channels 5 The Right Stuff looked stunning in a blue dress that was adorned with sparkles. The blonde bombshell paired the dress with semi-sheer tights and black boots adding rocker vibes to her feminine look. Penny, who is dating actor Vince Lee, styled her blonde, brown locks into a sleek, straight do and added a soft smoky eye to her striking peepers. Penny had her first taste of reality TV earlier this year when she appeared on Channel 5's Celebrity Go Barging, alongside a bevy of other celebs including actor Tom Conti, 76, singer Tony Christie, 74, gardener Diarmaid Gavin, 53, and Olympic gold medal winner Tessa Sanderson, 61. Speaking to The Express, Penny revealed that the experience that saw her travel the river lot and the Canal du Midi, wasn't as easy as she thought it would be. She said, I did my powerboat stage one test on a tiny little boat on the Isle of Wight, and thought the chance to tackle a bigger boat would be great. Penny continued. Even though I'd driven a boat just twice to get my powerboat license, I was moderately confident and thought I was quite good. However, when you watch the first episode you see me proved catastrophically wrong. During the first step when the celebs were traveling the Occitanie region of the south of France, Penny found herself running into trouble. When her shipmate Tessa Sanderson had to jump ashore to tie up the boat, Penny struggled to step it ashore. Recalling the incident, she said, there was water pumping down one side, there was the lock and it was narrow it was scary. There was just me and Tessa and it was a small mooring. Tessa took the wrong rope and I couldn't work out how to sort it all out, so I was going backwards and forwards. The show really should have been called Five Celebrities Go Crashing.